Good evening, friends. I hope you're all doing well. I'm also fine. Today, I'm going to show you how you can create an AWS IAM group with Terraform. So for today's example, I'm going to use the <clears throat> Terraform IAM group with policies, this sub-module. So this is available in the Terraform AWS modules, right? So it is inside the Terraform AWS modules, and then it's IAM and then IAM group with policies. So let's, let's see what what are the options that we have there are, in the inputs there we have like 11 options we have outputs for like four options right so if you create a group then you can uh, get an aws account id group arn group name and group users and in the input section you have a lot of options here 11 options <clears throat> but basically the important ones are like uh, the group name right so uh, there is the name there is important you must have a name and then we have a uh, custom group policy ARNs. These two are important, right? So you wanted to create a group which has some permissions and the permissions can be AWS managed permissions or some custom permissions. We will see both options. So the AWS managed permissions from where we can get it. If we go to policies here and then we see a list of policies that is given here. And if we search or filter by the AWS managed one, then you see all those AWS managed policies are there. And then you can start like, I wanted to get like S3 full access, right? So this is the policy. If you click, this is the ARN of the policy, which we need. So uh, that's, that's it, I think. Okay. Now let's go to the VS code and see how, how can we do this. So I created a folder inside the IAM group. So inside there, I created two files, create.tf and then output.tf. So the create.tf, our main uh, Terraform file and output.tf is the like variables that you create. We wanted to display in the output, right? So let's discuss the create.tf file first. The first part is the provider. That's like, like uh, pretty much obvious. If you see my other examples, we have uh, shown here AWS and then region. Which region the resources will be created. I'm now creating resources on US East 1. If you wanted to create in a different region, then please change this region. That's it, this is the first provider. The next section is the module. I give a name like dev group. So this will be like all the IAM users that I'm going to create will belong to the dev group. Uh, <clears throat> the name of the group will be dev group. So inside that module, then I have the source. The source is Terraform AWS modules, IAM AWS, then double slash modules, IAM group with policies. So this is the module name. You can get it from the uh, official website here as well. I think here you can see source. Then you can give the version number, which is kind of like locking the version which we want to use. At this moment, I'm not going to use that, but it's better to use the version number so that you have a very stable. If new version comes up, that's not breaking your code. The name of the group that will be created and then custom group policies ARN. So these are the ARNs that we can assign. So these are the, I have given here one managed policy that is uh, Amazon S3 read-only access, right? So now I can give like, uh, I wanted to give read-only read access and also like I wanted to give code commit. Code commit like power user. So this is for my developers and they wanted to use code commits. I just copy this and then I can add it here. So this group has two policies. So these are all managed policies and then attach IAM safe management policy false. This is because otherwise it will create some more uh, policies automatically for IAM self-management. That's not needed. So uh, that's it. Pretty simple. If you wanted to have some custom policies, right? That is also possible. What we can to do, what you can do is like you can create the custom policies by using another Terraform. Like here, I have created one custom policies. So this will be a policy name and then it will have an ARN. You can then use that ARN here as well. So ideally you should use one, like one script should do one action. So I'm going to, first you're going to create the policies with uh, this script. And then you can use that ARN to use it inside the group. 
Also, alternatively, you can copy this script here and then assign into this section so that those can be used as a reference. But I don't recommend that because then that will be kind of a like linked with or dependent with this script. Rather than I want to separate like policy creation, group creation, so that it doesn't couples. And the policies, this can be custom policies can be reused. So if, if you create separately, then that will be better. Okay, so let's try to find out what we can do. So first, uh, if I click here and then go for the open in the integral terminal, right? Okay, so if you want to run this and then um, here you have to configure the AWS CLI first. So it's like AWS configure i already configured so you probably will see that i have configured uh, my im role i am user access key and secret key here so i don't need to do this but if you haven't done this then you have to do that first <coughs> set up aws configure first and clear the screen then run terraform init Right, this will initialize all the modules and create this .terraform folder. I already like tested this, so that's why probably I already have that in the Terraform module. But for the first time, you have to always run this Terraform unit to initialize the whole block. And also, if you wanted to add some new modules, then you also have to run it Terraform unit. Okay, this is successfully initialized. Clear the screen. Then Terraform plan, right? So we want to plan what are the resources will be created. And this plan is very interesting thing is that it will show us what the resources will be created, but it doesn't create it. So it, it, it gives you kind of like preview. So that is important to uh, justify that things, what you want will be created or not. So you see, you will be created um, IAM group, fine. And then uh, attached policy, custom URL. And that's it. And the output will be group ARN and group NAM. I think looks good. So let's apply. What will happen is that it will create, um, now it will try to create the resources if we give permission. Okay, it is also showing you preview and then is asking for a value, your permission. So type yes, so that you are okay with the new resource creation. So the new resource has been created. This is the group ARN and this is the group name. So that's been created. Let's go to the AWS uh, console and let's see if you refresh this. So there will be a new group created, dev group, right? And then if you click details, we will see that um, there's no user, but there should be two permissions. Yes, yeah, here it is. Amazon S3 identity access and AWS code commit power user. Now you can create new users and assign that user to that group so that they have all those same permissions. That's very easy and convenient way that I'm just uh, very much used to creating groups. Rather than I create it manually, I use Terraform to create those groups and resources. The advantage of using this uh, Terraform file is that you you know what are the permissions are given. And let's say if you, later on you decided to add some more permissions to that group, right? So you can just come to this file and then add a new resource. Like uh, I wanted to give, um, I go to policies and let's say I wanted to give uh, Amplify. Administrator access Amplify, right? So I want to give Amplify access as well to my developers, right? This is what I want. Copy and then just add it here. That's it. And if you run from plan first, always run from plan to see what, has, what will be the changes. Uh, 
Okay, so this is the Terraform plan and this is the new changes will be there. And then I run Terraform applied. Okay, now let's refresh this screen, the groups. <clears throat> to refresh the screen, and then I should be easily seeing that three uh, permissions are given to that group. You go to permissions, there should be three. You see? So that's it for creating uh, groups using Terraform. Now I'm going to destroy this. So run Terraform, destroy, and then it will destroy the groups that have been created. It will just ask you another permission. Okay, uh, these things will be deleted. Let's yes. Okay, that's being deleted. And the uh, dev group is gone. So that's it for today. I hope you like this video. If you like this, please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends who's trying to become DevOps. That's it for today. Thank you, everyone. Allah bless. Assalamualaikum.